funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Ugh. Ew, this rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just moving it. Unrelated, do you know how to tie a noose? Why would I know how to do that? You were in the Girl Scouts? Yeah, we learned how to tie knots to go on boats and shit, not hang ourselves. Well, we're just assuming a whole lot today, aren't we? Hey guys, what's going on? Why is the rope in here? She was just asking me how to tie a noose. And like, did you help her? Should I? Nicole, are you really trying to kill yourself again? Yeah, no? Uh, pick your favorite answer out of those. Why would you help her tie a noose? I didn't! Oh my god, I can't right now. What's her problem? What's your problem? We're not even two weeks back yet, and you're trying to hang yourself with the gym rope. Dude, you have no idea what I had to witness this morning. The Jeffrey kid was doing cartoon voices for Mr. Burliday, and the guy just nodded, telling him he had a future in Hollywood. Like he wasn't joking? Yeah, so now he's just encouraged to go up to us talking like Elmo all day. All right, yeah, I get it. But could you hold off on killing yourself for two more weeks? We're still partners on the lab, remember? Oh, that's your motive for keeping me alive. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, will I see you in science today? About that. Why don't we just go out and do something else? Regardless of whatever you say, I'm not showing up to any class with Jeffrey for the rest of the week. I exerted all that energy to keep you alive and you're still not gonna go? You can come with me if you want. Uh, I'm trying to get into a college after I graduate. Fine, go to science and let Jeffrey do Elmo voice at you. Oh god, where are you even going? This is probably your worst idea yet. What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or anything here. Yeah, but is there an ice cream vending machine at home? That shit doesn't even fucking work! No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we, six? I need drugs, Nicole! What, so now if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? I could be in math right now, staring at the pregnant girl two rows down from me. That would be more entertaining than this. Our school has a pregnant girl? Do I know her? Well, if you haven't seen a kid walking around looking seven months pregnant, then I'm guessing no. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian transfer kid. It's gotta be so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it too. They call her Juno to her face. Like, can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? See, this is gossip. We're having fun. I guess. No fat, balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us all oh, wait. Girls, we're on our way to class, right? Fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, we were just getting water for the plants in AP ecosystems. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the school. Uh, oh, well, no, the plants are from California, so they only use bottled water. Yeah, and the cafeteria is the closest place with bottled water. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes, and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. Yeah, of course. No problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh, no. Pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every now and then. Oh my god, yeah. Do totally. I love being a pedophile. There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that if he didn't? What if he's trying to trick us into trying it on someone else? There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. 
Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? So you don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is that more likely? Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? That makes no sense. Okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah? So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? Because they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers are ugly. It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him because they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. Nicole, you need SSRIs really badly. What are you two doing? Shit, run. I go out to check on one staff complaint, and of course, I see students skipping. I think we're safe. Safe? Everyone skips here. They're gonna find us. Everyone does not skip here. This particular girl's bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency exit. It'll be fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Like, you're cool and everything, but you're just like... Fucked up. Ooh, drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping. God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles? Here? 100% yes. All of them? No way. Kelly, you've never been hit on by a male teacher. Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. Bullshit. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? He was just being helpful. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? I told you the other bathroom's better. Are you guys here to buy Adderall? No, we're just getting out of a quiz. Then get the hell out. Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first. Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addies or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. Is anyone here actually gonna buy Addies? Let them all know we're here. How much? Twelve a bean. Twelve a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We gotta pick a new hiding spot. This is way better. Why didn't you think of this first? I don't know, I guess kind of scary in here after a while. You'll do a fat line of anything, but you're afraid of the dark. No, it's not the dark, it's just really red in here. I feel like the hoe's in Amsterdam. You're gonna be a hoe in Amsterdam if you keep skipping every day. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Uh-oh. We were just, um, developing pictures. But you're not even in this period. Okay, well, I lied. I don't know what you want to hear, dude. You're not using the dark room to skip, are you? Some of us actually use this place for academics. Academics? You think a black and white picture of you holding a leaf is gonna wow Georgetown? Extracurricular activities make you look really good on college applications. Do you see how you dress? You wouldn't look good on anything. I'm not putting up with this. I'm gonna get the principal and you guys are gonna be expelled for good. Oh shit. You gonna stop by every vending machine on the way? What? what You know, to keep those love handles plump. That's what you're going for, right? Uh, I don't have big love handles. Don't be ashamed, right, Jekka? Uh, yeah, um, Lane Bryant wouldn't think they're big either. What? No, I gotta go to math now. Math class? You doing good at math? A for the year? A plus, actually. Is the plus for plus sized? Yeah, if you're so good at math, why can't you count your calories? Is this really necessary? Is that extra cheese at Chipotle necessary? I don't get that every time. Hey, no, we support it. Let's just hope the chairs at Red Lobster can support you too. It'd be so embarrassing for the chair to break on your first date with your black boyfriend. Black boyfriend? What the hell? Oh, you don't like black guys? Because I think they'll love you. Wow, fat and racist. So picky with men. At least you're not a picky eater. <laughs> I'm not racist! Shit, where'd she go? Hopefully not the principal. I feel like we just gave her more fuel. Yeah, that might have entirely backfired. Yeah. God, I'm so hungry after doing that. The Red Lobster Cheesy Biscuits? Fuck no, Chipotle. You don't like the Cheesy Biscuits? They're okay. I'm a whore for the Cheesy Biscuits. You say you're a whore for everything. Oh yeah, like what? Bottled water, massages, internet, Burt's Bees, McDonald's French fries, Percocet, American Spirits, Blink-182. We need to hang out less. We need to get the fuck out of here before Karen comes back with a principal. New hiding spot. I couldn't sell a single Addy. 
It's like Catholic school all over again. Aren't we going in circles? Yeah, this does look familiar. There you are! You have a lot of explaining to do! Shit, back to the bathroom. It's gonna be crowded. Look, there's a perfectly good explanation. Oh, I'd love to hear why referring to yourself as a pedophile would ingratiate yourself with your class. A couple students told me about it. They said it means I'm a cool teacher. Cool teachers have pizza parties and Jeopardy PowerPoints. They don't imply they're molesters. Come on, it was an isolated incident. Won't happen again. Then why did Kelly scream, I knew it, after you tried your little slang? What? No, you haven't heard? I knew it is actually slang for you're awesome. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? No, but I guess I am. Oh, it's empty. I told you this is a good hiding spot. Ew, do you smell that? Oh god, I guess that's why it's empty. Who the fuck threw up in here? <laughs> oh my god, they're still here. I just want to be loved! <laughs> you bullied her into being fucking bulimic! Dude, she was probably already bulimic. I told myself yesterday would be the last time. I'm sorry, Daniel Radcliffe! <laughs> See, told ya, we had nothing to do with this. Well, if we don't get out of here, I'm gonna throw up. God, we gotta change, too. We probably smell like vomit by now. <laughs> yeah, now I can never look at this shirt again without thinking about how we made a bulimic girl relapse. <laughs> can I have it? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I'm going back to class now. Figure this out on your own. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just, like, I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? Well, you picked it out, I thought, you know... I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really, like, a bad religion fan. I only like maybe, like, four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean, exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it? Like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's got to, like... Take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari. What is it? Wait, what? I didn't... Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking... Shut the to... fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last ten minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there! Hold it! Here we go. Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa! That is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents! Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, 
I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? What did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe, holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You've had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. It's a, it's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? A non-profit charity. A non-profit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. What's the name of this pharmaceutical non-profit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> so then my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, Mom. If you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Hi. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? Bye then. No, no, all right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. I think he was lonely. Like, we would even know people who set up church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. But good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity. Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? 
I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacay in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Is there... Okay, we want to explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. To who? Probably a teacher with a coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even- Hey, if it isn't my favorite gym students! We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Oh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> How many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this fat-ass brick, and money in general. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try for real, but I don't know if it'd mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug... I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to free base. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh, uh, fuck! Excuse me. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, where's Mr. Katz? Today I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So I had another two days to think of a charity? God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, I have my charity. <gasps> what charity might that be? I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! <laughs> I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. <gasps> she got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks. With signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system. But don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. Hi, Bar. So what do you want? Oh yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. 
Okay, so Ziploc, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks, I'll explain later. How long is it gonna take to find this shit? <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks, you got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables chicken shakeups? Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running from school security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law, I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag! They're gonna kill you if they find out! How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was in MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's cousin's in MS-13. Now, and no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty-ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs. Who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany! Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for! Look, calm down. This'll take like an hour at most. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are still numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. All right, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? Damn, I did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, I, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just any fake name, it's fine. I pee. A hundred bucks and a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Cool. Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Here. Oh, is attendance over? Sorry. So nice of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> he had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Of course. As I expected... you. Wait, how many is this? I don't know, I lost count. 16, 18, 
22 hours. Wow. I only have three. All the signatures are different. Different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. <gasps> I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm shockingly surprised, Nicole. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. Anytime someone's in need, they know who to call. Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? It's gay. <laughs> Excuse me? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes, take it off. I, I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community? You love the people that much now? Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Oh, hey, Nicole. What's up? What's good? Yeah. Cool. So, I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're going to flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's gonna come through. You don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though, it's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around to shit. What's the end game then? You're gonna awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean... Friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit and watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, would you fuck Crispin? Ew, no! See, no one wants to fuck you. You guys are just... Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave! <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. What the fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50. What do you think? I was trying to get an A-. minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Bitch Lynn right now. What Bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over my babe hoodie, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. Giving pregnant women two-for-ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. 
That's what I planned on. You want to come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was going to cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. Uh, so you in school or... Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch? You wild saying that shit. You wild. You anything. What, do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh-huh. Well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah. I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? White guy buying rocks in PG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound familiar. Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No, just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh, shit. A little midnight marketplace here? How'd you let the cops tell you? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Uh, now we got to call in a body bag. Did you just kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me, too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. In the... You waited two weeks to visit me? Okay, if you're going to be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's jail? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's, like, no options. It's not the loony bin. There's no options at all. Oh my god, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was like three years with good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block and all it plays is UPN reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit, no tools to get out of it, and they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. I guess 50 was right. Right about what? Is get rich or die trying. I did what I had to. You're white. What? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. That's what you think. What I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Yeah, sorta. So all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh, wait, no, no, don't go! I always thought I had a bad memory, 
Until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologists in here, no therapists in here, no nothing. So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate's story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So, compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends, and buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first, watch her cry for mercy before I finish her off. Change feels pretty good. No, come on, wait. Why should I? Because we wanted to talk about Twilight. What about Twilight? What's your opinion on how to read it? Okay, where's the principal? No, Karen, uh, what she meant to ask was if you like your favorite Twilight character more than Ron. Uh, well, Ron from the Potter books will always be my favorite, but Edward is a pretty close second. And... You're gonna see the Twilight movie when it comes out? Well, yeah, I read all the books. At the place in Centerville, right? Cause there's less people? Yeah, I know it's run down, but I'd rather the movie be empty so I can watch it in peace. Will the ticket stub go on your wall? For sure, it's such a big movie. I actually took some of the ticket stubs down for a collage I'm working on right now. Do you need any help? Me and Nicole could help. Help you fuck off. Shh. Uh, yeah, the glue can be tricky. I have it on a table out here. Uh, cool, yeah, we'll be right there in a sec. How the fuck did you know all that? We were friends in like sixth grade. Oh, socially obsolete. You made the upgrade and left her ass in the dust. It's not like I was trying to. Yeah, what's the story? I tried bringing her to lunch in middle school and she brought up Harry Potter while we're talking about the Paris Hilton sex tape. Oh, that's a bad awkward. And she directs it at you because she doesn't know anyone else? Yeah. So I looked like a fucking baby in front of the 8th graders. Wow, traded loyalty in for the acceptance of 8th graders. Fuck the acceptance. They were gonna let me try their cigarettes if they thought I was cool. So she nerded you out of free cigarettes? Yeah, I'd hate her too, honestly. I don't hate her, it's just like, what do you do with her? Ask her to hang out with you. No, I can't, it's weird now. You walk in the cafeteria and see her reading at lunch alone. She's like a hallucination reminding me of how much of a bitch I am. I only said all that shit so she'd forget about the principal. Wow, so you manipulated that poor book reader with her own childhood. She was your bestie, and you sold her up the river, you cold, heartless bitch. Fuck off, Nicole. You move every two years. You don't have to deal with this shit. I'm just gonna graduate, go to college, smoke a shit ton of salvia, and forget about her. Hey, was there a slowdown? What's the problem? Too many to list. Sorry, just sorting out the ticket stubs. You said you only save them for the special movies, right? Yeah. Why do you have the ticket stub for Balls of Fury? Is that the ping pong movie with the fat guy from Lost? I guess. You're putting next to the Star Wars one. They're basically the same movie. Thanks again for the help. Yeah, no problem. So anyway, did you hear what happened with Kelly last week? No. She was at a party and somebody walked in on her right as a guy skeeted on her face. What the hell? Why wouldn't she lock the door? I think she wants to get caught. Uh, what do you think, Karen? What's skeeted? Huh? Huh. Skeeted on? What does that mean? Um, so it's like when a boy- Dude, it's not that hard. It just means to compliment something. Excuse me. Well, why don't you just say compliment? It's just slang. Skeet, skeeting, skeeted on. Like how 
Jekka skeeted on my collage? Oh my god. Exactly. I'm skeeting all over your collage right now. It's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, it took so long to put together. Yeah, you're pretty cool. Hang out with me and Jekka more, and guys are going to be skeeting all over you. You really think guys would want to skeet on me? Yeah, with your glasses on and everything. You're unbelievable. What's wrong, Jekka? Oh, um, nothing. Just... nothing. By the way, I like your outfit. Did anyone skeet on you today? No, I'm pretty elusive. She's just being humble, Karen. Jekka really likes it when three or four guys skeet on her at once. Wow, that many? I've always thought you were really pretty, so it makes sense. Thanks. Yeah, and she never wants it to stop. Not until she's gagging on compliments. Okay, so me and Nicole need to go now, but good luck with your collage, Karen. No problem. I'll see you guys later sometime. Yeah, so girls, uh, if your moms are single, you know who to let know. You know what I'm saying? My mom's married. Why do you want to fuck our mom so bad? Yeah, my mom's the last person I want to fuck. What the hell do you see in her? Whoa, whoa, girls, why you gotta go there? If you don't go to the ATM and get each of us $100, we're gonna report you. Damn it. All right, where's my car? And we want it in fives. You know the purple five? Oh, I love the purple five. Yeah, purple fives, bitch! Who's a bitch? Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, hey. Hi, Karen. Why is Kyler with you? Well, we just spoke this morning and kind of hit it off. Really? Really? Yeah, he's actually really nice. He told me he never skeeted on a girl with glasses before and wanted me to be his first. Did he now? Yeah, baller shot collar, dude. Then one thing led to another, and we're hanging out this Friday. And it's all thanks to you, Nicole. Oh, I don't mention it to anyone. If you never taught me about that slang, me and Kyler would have never understood each other, let alone set something up. Or the other four guys hanging out with me this week. Four guys? Yeah, Nicole was right. I'm really popular now, and all it took was one phrase. I- you mean skating? Damn right she means skating. One guy asked to do it at the movies, another guy at the football game, and then one guy was really surprised when I said he could skeet all over me in public. Uh... Some guys are just shy, you know. I used to be like that, but this really broke me out of my shell. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Can I get into your hair, too? Why are you Hitler? Is that a band, or are you calling me Hitler? What the fuck is gonna happen when she goes out with these guys? Your little prank turned a nice Twilight girl into the school slut. Relax, she'll probably run away when they whip it out. And what if she doesn't, Nicole? What if she fills her void of friendship with male attention? Uh, Are we talking about my mom or Karen right now? Now, when I look at her in lunch, I'm just gonna think about guys plastering the fuck out of her. She was my childhood, Nicole. Hold on, so... The idea of her getting sexually manipulated is less important than your ability to objectify her as a childhood memory. What's wrong with that? Uh, I mean, I don't care. You're a good friend. I thought I was Hitler. You're a really pretty brunette Hitler with a drug problem. See, if guys came up with that, I'd actually try dating them. Anyway, I gotta go to class. I gotta wait for Mr. Colby to come back with the money. Oh, well, what are you doing after that? Crispin? Here. Emily? Uh Uh-huh. Emily? Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Taking attendance. Nicole, tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional stage production. And what makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. Don't take her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. Any other questions? Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? (laughs) So anyway, today we'll break up into two separate groups. One will do a table read exercise, the other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care about acting? It's a fuck around class. Like we're going to be actors one day? Yeah, no offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in movies. I don't get why you want to act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Stop calling me ugly. (laughs) No, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like... uh... Like what? 
You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> all right, I'm done with this. Get in your groups or I'm writing all of you up. So, how do we do this? I give you guys a scenario, and you play it out and get feedback afterwards. Oh, uh, yeah, it makes sense. So, the scene is you're a newlywed husband and wife in 1949, and the wife wants to know what the war was like. What if he doesn't know what the war was like? It was 1949. Everybody was just getting out of the war, or at least knew someone, right? Okay, so, so we go now? Yeah, uh, action. Hey, you seem kind of upset. Is there a thing you want to talk about? Nah, I'm good. Oh, well, do you want to hear about the war? No. Wait, wait. Megan said you can never say no for improv. It just makes it go nowhere. That was the plan. Well, I guess don't do that. All right, let's try this again. Hey, wife, something on your mind? Yeah, uh, there's something I've been wanting to say lately. Oh, what's that? The N-word. Why would you want to say that? It's 1949, isn't it? Don't we usually say the N-word? Oh, may maybe, yeah. The N-word is probably my favorite thing to just scream in public with no repercussions. 1949 is a great year, for us anyway. Uh-huh, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Oh, do you see that? See what? That different colored family pulling up in a Lincoln? You want to do the honors? What are the honors? Calling them the N-word, duh. Why would I do that? It's 1949. Why wouldn't you? Oh, right. Um, is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah. Do you want to join the KKK? It's normal right now. No? Dude, what the fuck? Megan! What's the matter? Crispin said no during the improv. What the hell, Crispin? We went over this. No, but- Another no! I told you to get that word out of your vocabulary if you're gonna do this exercise. Yeah, but the situation got kinda- The situation doesn't matter. It's improv. No matter what, you never use that N-word. If you do it again, I have the power to fail you for the quarter. Alright, so, uh, resume scene. But yeah, honey, should we sign up for the 1949 KKK initiation? N okay. Great to hear. By the way, could you tell me about the war? Oh, and use the N-word as much as possible when describing it. And scene. Oh, all right. So how'd we do? Uh, I'm gonna have a talk with Megan. Shit. Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. About... Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. Okay. Is that it, or...? You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as such. This disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program, got it? Dude, what the fuck ever? I just told you, don't treat me like your classmate. I'm your teacher. Is that how you talk to your teachers? Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me! Oh my god, chill out. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think it's all fun and games, Nicole? Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject! We're talking about you and your issues right now. Jesus Christ, okay. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione? I had no part of that. Go ahead! Call me ugly again. No thanks. Uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie, but work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist, holy shit. So then she went shut the fuck up over how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a ripoff. I don't know how someone manages to be more boring than the regular shit. Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? I know, why would she pick a student, right? No, why are you in drama? It's a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher, who's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring, and then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm gonna fucking write you up, get you suspended, like, all this shit, and I'm just standing there. 
Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum kid. Yeah, control freak for real. So you gonna drop the class? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna drop her ass though. Aren't you a little old for revenge? Oh, so now you're taking her side? No, no, I support you. I'm just not getting involved. Because you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold, like pizza. Well, do you seriously eat pizza cold? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza's just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one you'll like it more. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try better next time. Stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just barely pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I've been around longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. In for what? Megan's life. A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to exploit. This is starting to sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Like what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Dude, how much red tube do you watch? Don't worry about it. Fine, but anyway, me and Hunter share a science class next period. That's convenient. What are you gonna do? Let's just say I'm gonna... order a hot pizza. And wait for it to get cold? You know me so well. And so, that's why I wasn't super broken up when my wife killed herself. Any questions? Jeffrey? Yeah, what's our science lab gonna be about today? I meant questions about my wife killing herself. <coughs> oh. Sorry, no. So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's gonna be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each other if we're gonna act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners- SHUT UP! SHUT THE FUCK UP! GO AWAY! Oh. Wasn't that kinda harsh? Yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? Uh, I'm okay with it, but, uh, well, why do you do it at school? Kind of add something to it, I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools. I hate it. Can't relate. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have a gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like... uh... Yeah, like that. But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. She's an actor actor too. Do you guys ever roleplay? No, can't say we do. I guess she's burned out after acting at school all day, right? Yeah, 
I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love role playing. Oh, cool. Well, what are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? How fun is she? Okay, don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing head. Am I right? Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it, the relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. And that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know all about manipulative relationships. Okay, so this is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini-production of Romeo and Juliet. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now who's gonna play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. (laughs) I'll do it. (gasps) Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Okay, go ahead. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for 10 years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking good. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Well, you're just gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just going to serve the time? No other options. But what about me? What am I going to do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really want to have sex with me. Look, I can't control you from the inside. Just keep me in the dark about it. You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just telling yourself that to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But but what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh, uh, and scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I don't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh my god, thank you. Little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. It's like you were really trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well, okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. At first I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. So thanks, I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? Yeah? I told you it's Miss Megan. You know World Star Hip Hop? No, what's that? It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants? Yeah, I don't get it either, but when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ew, gross. Do you want to see it? Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone like all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far I got 10, 11 pictures of his dick so far. God damn, he's desperate. Yeah, but I'm trying to get one with his face in it too so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for me. Uh, why... 
Would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds, he sent a picture of it. You want to see? Ugh. Yes. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! Get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! Maybe that's why he won't include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. So, um, do we divide the mass by the volume? Couldn't tell ya. Or maybe we multiply the density by the mass. Dude, I'm failing this class anyway, who gives a shit? Is something bothering you right now? Not really, it's just caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just us. What about us? I had fun texting last night. Did you not like it? No, I liked it too. It's just... I think about how I feel talking to you and compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think she actually likes me. What? How so? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, no, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though, aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like, sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? Yeah, actually, for the- No, we're fine, just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? Yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah, among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Another jewelry box? No, it was on my brother's Uno collection. Like- Like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. How can you have a collection of Uno? Like all the different versions. NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah. And while I was doing it, I was thinking about you and... Oh God, listen to me. What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. Seriously? Yeah, that's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can hang out however we want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Megan canceled on me. Uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord? Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? And... You're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him father but not daddy? What? I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you wanna go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Repeat, Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Thank you. Looks like I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that, though. Just let me know by Friday. 
This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. Nicole, hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Since when? Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers and both spoke very highly of you. Oh, uh, they have? Yes, they're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior reputation. As your counselor, it'd be important to know. What's the sudden inspiration? Oh, um, drama and science? Couldn't tell ya. I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way... Great to see one of our most beautiful students isn't just a pretty face. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They shape you out very nicely. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off in here. Why don't you... Give me a twirl. You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now, go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I was in French, too, and called the weird kid Rugrats fetish and got held after. Like, Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. That's a really good diss. I know. Everybody laughed and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. While he was there to his face? Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No. He invited me to church this Saturday. Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. Oh, he's one of those those. Is it really that surprising, though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. Oh yeah, no, I've seen it. I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? You think our counselor will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing juicy couture. High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you gonna tell him no? You just distract him. Hey, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do wanna do? You know what I wanna do really fucking badly? That was cool. How do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Let's see, for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare, we studied this all month. So it's not Lil Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough! So, playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement? Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, yay, thanks guys. And playing the role of Juliet will be... Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but your onstage synergy with Hunter has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Cool, yeah, sure. For a pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're gonna need it. Oh, you too. No, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Aw, oh, dude, that does not sound like nothing. Who are you texting? A guy. 
Whoa, guy, is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. Is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it. Just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. Haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pic. But let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? I just want to see you all in one picture because it would be really, really... I got him. Got what? You know what. Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. Why would he send that many pictures of the same thing over and over? Oh, I had him write different things on himself and some pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday. Busy with the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. I mean, I guess, but like... I'm a girl, what am I gonna do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. Exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you gonna post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. Run less than five guys, phones off, let's get it together. Megan's number, check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out, check. Hey, Nicole, good luck tonight. Good luck to you too. We got two minutes into the first scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control, and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're going to let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like 10 times the payoff. She's going to be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's going to end up a cat lady, because any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of if you push her far enough. For this week's assignment, let's really open the floor of creativity. In the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencil, we're going to draw a few characters. We're going to draw a newspaper? It's like newspaper without the ink. What the fuck did my mom pay a $50 supply fee for for drawing on newspaper? <laughs> yeah, isn't that cheaper than printer paper? It's not cheaper, it's just specialized. Art classes are here to remind you you're special. So are homeless people special when they eat out of the garbage? <laughs> Your minds are special. Is he calling us special ed? I guess we are if we took this class. And with the medium of newsprint and charcoal pencils, we'll be drawing characters. Any characters you'd like. These characters could tell a story, show how you feel, portray a social cause. Anything you feel is worth the time to draw. 
Can my characters murder bitches? Be mindful that anything we do in this class must be school appropriate. Can my characters be the gym teacher trying to molest us? Nicole. What? It's in school. I think you're all smart enough to know what pushes the envelope. It's your first assignment. Just play it safe. Any other questions? Are we allowed to just draw people hanging out? Of course. Though it might not be the strongest test of your creativity. Think, why are they hanging out? What purpose brought them all together to hang out? God, bitches and shit. If there are no further questions, I'll hand you your papers and we can begin. Bitch, you do that shit. Excuse me? Dude, we're seniors. I'm not drawing during one of my sleeping classes. I'm sorry, but you're in art, not a sleeping class. Is this an elective? Well, yes. So what are you going to do about it? Fail you for your lack of participation. Oh, yeah, and the elective that doesn't stop me from graduating. That'll really show me. Yeah, actually, why the hell are any of us drawing? For the easy GPA. What fucking college would care if you drew some bullshit picture about your feelings? They'd rather see an A in an easy class than a B in a hard class. I don't want to be in fucking any class. We had to do 12 years of this shit. You're going to volunteer for more of it? Whatever. You have a real attitude problem. You know that, Nicole? You have a teaching a real class problem. Go work at Starbucks with your little apron. <laughs> Let's see how the principal deals with your abundance of comebacks. Oh, man. Nicole, we're not even a week in and you're getting sent to the principal. New record, don't be jealous. You're on your final warning, Nicole. Final warning? This is the first time I was sent here. I've decided to roll over your warnings from last year. You made such a habit out of coming here, it's hard to forget over the summer. You don't do that with anyone else. Yes, but anyone else doesn't seem to deliberately disrupt the class as much as you do. What, am I supposed to accidentally call my teacher a bitch? You're supposed to follow the class and not insult faculty. No shit. Then why do you continue to not do that? Because that's boring. So your life here is a game to you? No, Candyland's a game. This shit's torture. If the current curriculum isn't working for you, we could always have you transferred into a different program here. I swear to God, if you put me in spec ed, I will bully all of those kids into killing themselves. Nicole, don't be ludicrous. They're special, Miss Lynn. One little push and you'll have to make a really awkward phone call. I wasn't implying special ed, Nicole. We have alternative learning programs for students who feel they can't quite get along. Really now? I wouldn't look at it as an out. Believe me when I tell you, the classes you're in now are a lot more pleasant. We'll see about that. Again, final warning! I just don't understand why we can't upload anime to YouTube anymore. A lot of the time, there's no other way to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles. Uh-huh. Besides, I can't even stomach the American version. They just change so much. It's not a faithful adaptation, so YouTube is the only way we can watch the true original version. Why do you think I know what any of the shit you're talking about is? Well, it's sort of been a big deal in the online communities. The Digital Millennium Copyright Act, have you heard of it? Will you shut the fuck up? What? Well, hey! You're going off about copyright and shit. You can't even tie your shoes. I know how to tie shoes. Slip-ons are just quicker is all. Quicker is all? You sound like a cartoon character arguing age of consent laws. But what's wrong about sounding like a cartoon? Cartoons are my favorite. Second to anime. Weren't you talking about how much you want a girlfriend yesterday? Yes, and I still want one. And you plan on this hypothetical girlfriend touching your penis? Well, I don't want to rush things. But one day, yes. Okay, let me help you out. Approaching girls in your Velcro shoes with the current events of YouTube anime will not make her want to fuck you. Who, who said I was trying to do that with you? Just to talk between friends? I don't think about you in that way. Really? Yeah, not at all. Not even a little? N no. Wow, that's a shame. Why? Because I wanted to give you a hand job after lunch, but if you don't think about me that way... Wait, I mean, well, I could reconsider my feelings if you felt that way. You are so fucking pathetic. I hope you kill yourself while your mom watches. I'm hearing a bit of profanity over here. Is everything all right? Oh, I, I don't know. You're not going to write me up, are you? I'm on my last warning. That depends. Jeffrey, what's going on here? N nothing Nicole was actually helping me out with some life advice. Well, all right. Back to work on your lab. Don't worry, Nicole. Usually you just ignore me. 
but I understand you were trying to be extra mean today so I'd better myself. No, I was extra mean to get written up so I don't have to take these shitty fucking classes anymore. Oh, well, if you're ever feeling like you need an escape, the manga club's doing a- Just stop there. Hold on, you told him kill yourself while your mom watches? Yeah. That's really good. I know, right? And that didn't get you written up? Yeah, the teacher wasn't there when I said it, so the response was lukewarm. You're really going for these remedial classes, huh? Is that what they're called? Yeah, but it's for major fuck-ups. I'm not sure you want to be there every day. What, stupid kids? No, kids who are going to go to jail straight after graduation. It's like the worst of the worst. Every day is Saturday school, but more eventful. I know it's going to be rougher, but I'm just tired of these lame-ass teachers who won't leave me alone about anything. You think the other teachers are just going to let you do whatever you want? If I just want to sleep in class, then by default, yes. A collection of the worst kids in school means distractions from me. But you still can't find your way there. Tragic. Well, hold on. What's your textbook there? It's for government. Why? Can I borrow that real quick? Sure. I'll be right back. What the fuck? This should do it. Why'd you ask what subject it is if you were just gonna throw it out a window? Huh. I don't know. All right, what the hell's the matter with you? Acting out, felt alone. Do I look like a therapist to you? Nicole, we've been trying to take a more understanding disciplinary approach lately. Tell me what's wrong, because you're disappointing us here. Wait, are you not going to write me up? It's the no child left behind act sort of thing. I don't want to escalate anything if we can resolve this through a dialogue. So, why did you feel the need to break a window? Yeah, and did it have to be my textbook? I need that for government. Nicole, is there a hostility towards government class? Are you really not going to write me up? Nicole, answer the question. What's wrong with government? Uh, because our government hates women. Excuse me? The government hates women, dude. We can't get abortions or anything. Oh, I see. A political extremist, huh? Using violence to spread your message? If you want to call it that. The dictionary calls that terrorism, young lady. We've been cracking down on terrorism for the last seven years, if you haven't noticed. Are you connecting this to 9-11? Just sick. Straight to the principal. Come with me. Getting warmer. Wait, am I at lunch alone now? Join the club, Jekka. I could sit with you if you want. No, fuck off! You really don't waste any time, do you? Guess not. So I'm out of regular school now, right? He accused you of acts of terrorism, Nicole. That's a bigger punishment than remedial classes. What? How's throwing a book terrorism? You threw a book through a window for a political message. And did he not explain the message? Nicole, I'd rather not get into your diatribe on the Communist Manifesto. Communist? That's what Mr. Colby informed me of. I didn't even know what the fuck communism is. Must you play dumb with me? No, seriously, is it like for people who go on the internet too much? I have no clue. Well, if not for communism, why did you break the window with a government textbook? Because the government hates women, that's what I told him. So if anything, it was feminism, not communism. This isn't the first time he's referred to feminism as communism. See? He's fucking insane. He wants to rape women and force them to keep the baby. Total psycho. Just despicable. Right there with ya. So, are you writing me up, or...? Women's rights are no reason to write any student up. You're very brave, Nicole. Now I'll be having a word with your gym teacher. Wait, but I broke a window. Isn't that delinquent behavior? You had your reasons, but this is an intricate conversation we'll need to have later. But what if I just did it for fun? Like, no terrorism or feminism or anything? Well, that would be different, now wouldn't it? Okay, then I made the feminism shit up. Just give me the regular trouble. You're not getting sent to remedial classes. No, seriously, I hate women. Nice try, Nicole. I I'm not messing around. All women are good for is sucking dick and watching Desperate Housewives. Out of my office. Good news, Nicole. Very good day today. Did the mean lady at Marshall's transfer? Even better. I got a new job. Mom, you get eight alimony checks a month. Why the fuck did you get a job? You're going to be 18 soon, and when that happens, the well dries up just a bit. Also, it's a reason to get out of the house. Is daytime drinking at P.F. Chang's not getting out of the house? Will you be serious? I am. Well, I got a job in catering for that little kosher deli in Falls Church. Rossler's? Yeah, Rossler's Deli. I'll be prepping the sandwich trays. It's not the most prestigious, but I think there's value in working amongst the common man. Okay, cool. 
Why would you work at a kosher deli? I thought you hated Jewish people. Nicole, I do not hate Jewish people. You said my third stepdad only got a good settlement because the courts won't let the Holocaust go. We all say brash things when we're upset. Let's not read into it. I won't feed into your negativity and let it ruin my moment of progress. Oh, what book is that from? Again, happy thoughts. So how was school today? I got in trouble and they transferred me to remedial classes. What? I know, took them long enough. No, what the fuck is the matter with you? I need remediation. My grades and behavior are apparently not cutting it. You're great. You go to school every day. Don't you get a C just by showing up? Mom, it's not the 70s anymore where you just show up and get a C. You actually have to do shit now. It sucks. Excuses, excuses. But weren't you supposed to be happy or something? <sighs> I'm gonna go up to my room and read up on how to fold the pastrami. You better find a way out of those remedial classes. You better find a real fucking job, bitch. Jacko is freaking out over nothing. These kids aren't that tough and crazy. Hey, you got put in remedial English too? Wait, just English? I thought all my classes would be here. Nah, they only have it for math and English. So I still have to go to art class? If you need extra time here, they'll let you skip electives. Guess I'll have to take it. So did you get put here for some bullshit reason like the rest of us? You could say that. Why are you here? Just some bullshit with Mr. Horvitz, that sheeny shit-faced fucking fairy. I wish the Holocaust happened. What was that last part? I said I wish the Holocaust happened. I think you need remedial history. Pretty sure the Holocaust did happen. Oh. Well, I wish it happened more. Then that fuck wouldn't be here. So this is remedial classes. All right, time to start. I want to see you all in your assigned seats. I want to see you in a wheelchair, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Miss Ames. Are we finished? Whoa, she didn't say shit. I see we have a new student. Welcome to Remedial English. My name is Miss Ames. What shall we call you? Uh, Beyonce. <laughs> okay, I'll just look it up during attendance. Can we listen to our iPods? Listen to what? Does it matter? If you're listening in class, it should serve to benefit the course in some way. Would Wheezy benefit the course? Yeah, and what about Kanye? Are these rappers? No, they're accountants. Come on, we'll just do one earbud. While I'm sure this music is catchy for all of you, it serves little in terms of lyrical substance. Not appropriate for English. Then who can we listen to? How do you feel about the Beatles? You're such a fucking white mom, it's not even funny. I'm sorry? Dodge Caravan, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, so we can't listen to rap or anything? I never said that. You just need to choose something with meaningful lyrical content. What do you think about Tupac? I think he's dead. Yeah, think he's dead. He could be hiding in Ecuador for all we know. His music? He's whatever. Yeah, he's okay, I guess. Okay? Socially conscious music is just okay? The lyrical content of Tupac was such an important submission of modern poetry by the African American community. You wouldn't say any of that shit unless the Washington Post did an article on it. Yeah, do you have Tupac on cassette or something? Irrelevant to my point, but I say all of that as a lead-in to your next essay. Dude, why the fuck do we have to write? I just want to watch fight videos. An essay on the state of modern poetry. It needs to be four pages, double-spaced, and feature a variety of citations of proper modern poetry. We don't read proper modern poetry. And this assignment will force you to do so. What about our music? Poetic merit seldom exists with these modern rappers. The misogyny alone is sickening. What misogyny? A variety of things I'd rather not repeat. Are you bad at pronouncing the slang? I might too, it's okay. Why is lunch at like 10.30? It's remedial lunch. They gotta keep us away from the other kids or we'll cause trouble or some bullshit. Kyler, was that a negative remark I just heard? Oh, this fucking guy. It wasn't even negative. How's calling something bullshit negative, huh? Do you recall our chat last lunch about the energy in which we charge our language with? Why don't you come with me for a refresher? I hate talking. Talking's for gay people. What a theory. Hey, can I sit with you? Why? The kids at the other table keep throwing ketchup packets at me. You're not covered in ketchup, though. They don't know you have to open them first. Damn, we need a remedial bullying class, too. So, how do you like remedial English? I guess it's whatever. My mom was really pissed, though. Yeah? What about your dad? My dad killed himself. Wow, dramatic much? Oh, no, he killed himself last year. Fuck. You want to trade dads? What's wrong with your dad? Literally everything. He's so up his own ass all the time. I'll be happy about anything, and he'll go, what about your grades? Like, go away. 
He sounds like a weekend dad. He is a weekend dad. Every week I hope he dies so I don't have to see his ass on Saturday. That's a good dynamic. So do you guys actually do the essays here? Yeah, and remedial you have to or they transfer you to a hood school. Dude, that's such bullshit. I wouldn't worry. They're not expecting a good paper. It's remedial, right? I guess, but like modern poetry? How do I even write half a page on modern poetry? Every paper here is just zoning out to the last minute. By the way, you want to pop C's with me? Triple C's? No, bitch. Quadruple C's. How many you got? Like a ton. I stole a bunch from Rite Aid yesterday. They weren't behind the counter? Yeah, you get far away enough from the Beltway. They don't care at all. No, if only I had a car. So, you want to do them with me? Maybe a little early to get high on cough medicine. What? Like we're too young for it? Bitch, it's 1030. This way, quickly. Ugh, how do I reach these kids? How do I show them there's more out there? I hate her so much. They really picked the right teacher for punishment. Oh my god, I can't even go back there. What, are you gonna skip? Do you wanna? But if we don't do the paper, don't they send us to some hood school or whatever? Dude, it's just one class. It's not like we won't finish the paper missing one class. Well, where do you want to go? I don't know. Out? Around? I got a prescription to pick up. We could go do that. Do that as in go there, or do that as in abuse the prescription? No, you can't do that with Seroquel. It's not a fun high. Oh. So what's Seroquel for? It's like an antipsychotic. It's like an antipsychotic, or it's an antipsychotic? I don't know. It just makes you sleepy. My mom forced me to get it after I slashed her tires. Cool. Yeah. So, you want to go with me? Why can't you just go yourself? I'm not going to skip alone. That's like a step above reading at lunch alone. Just ask some other psycho remedial kid. No, they're all shitty. I want to go with someone cool. Are you hitting on me? What? No, I got a boyfriend. But do you actually love him? Yeah. No. I love that my parents hate him. Close enough. But seriously, come on, let's go. I kind of want to, but I just can't right now. I told you the papers don't need to be good. They just need to be done. Yeah, but I want it to be good to me. What, so you care about school now? Never said that. Good to me, but bad for the teacher. Oh, so you're plotting. I'm plotting heavy. I want to write something that gets me the grade, but destroys her reputation. This sounds like way too much effort. How would you even do that? Everybody has biases. And when push comes to shove, those biases turn into major personality flaws. Are you trying to get Miss Ames fired? Maybe. And if I can't get her fired, I'm perfectly happy with showing her she's just another Democrat in a gated community. Yeah, she's really afraid of rap music too. But then again, she likes Tupac. Does she like Tupac, or does she feel obligated to mention Tupac? Oh, shit. Yeah, she always says that as a response to something. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to class. I need to do some research. Okay, well, I'm going to skip anyway. Do you want to hang out, though? You know, yeah. Come over after school. Seriously? Your mom's not going to bitch about it or anything? I mean, she will, but fuck her. Yeah, I get it. I'll see you tonight. You had to make this shit about poetry. Are we having trouble over here? These poetry books suck ass. Can I just say the state of modern poetry sucks ass? Remember, four pages. So, can I just copy and paste modern poetry sucks ass until it fills four pages? Are these books you gave us really all we're allowed to use? Unless you're able to find some contemporary works on your own. And that's other than the rap on your iPods. But what if it's meaningful rap? And what's the likelihood of that? You find a stanza about drug use and misogyny? There will be no papers on the meaning of hoes in this classroom. Not a big fan, huh? I won't lecture you on intellectually stimulating music, but I think it's necessary to not voluntarily degrade yourself. Uh-huh, so what if the angle is on how rap is bad? I'm listening. I could do a paper on this culture of rap and how it's so awful now. That would be a new one. You can try that. Just make sure to give it real effort, even if it might disagree with some of your stances. I'll try my best. Who knows, studying some other opinion might change my mind. Finally reaching these kids. Re reaching what? Is this like a movie for you? Yeah, we're not black or Mexican or anything. You don't need to feel good about helping us. Back to work. <sighs> Today was hard, but still rewarding. What was? My day working at the deli? Oh, I wasn't asking, but all right. You don't want to hear what happened? I think I'm good. Nicole, just because I'm your mother doesn't mean you can take me for granted. Who said I was taking you for granted? 
Then talk with me like you would with anyone else. This is how I talk with anyone else. Somebody says boring shit and I let him know I'm not interested. You know, it's not surprising why you only have one friend at school. I have more than one friend. Oh yeah? Who? Emily. Who the fuck is Emily? Girl that goes to my school. She's pretty cool and way more fucked up on drugs than I am. Really now? And you're not making this up, right? Mom, I'm not gonna make up a person to look less lonely. Am I some guy on AOL with a model girlfriend? All right, okay. What's her last name then? I don't know. I knew it. Mom, I'm not a cop who just asks for people's full names. Well, if she's real, why don't you invite her over? You wanna meet her? I'd love to. Cool, cause she's coming over in five minutes. What? You said you wanna meet her. How could you invite someone over? This place is a mess. Well, she's a mess too. It's a perfect match. Oh my God, every little comment will just come back to haunt me. Tell her she can't come. Too late. And I'm still in my work apron. Hey. Yeah, hey, let's head to my room. Nicole, you're not gonna introduce us? Mom, do not fucking do this right now. What, I can't even know her name? Emily? Hello, Emily. It's nice to meet you. You are such a fucking bitch. Nicole, don't call me a bitch in front of your friends. I'm sure Emily doesn't call her mother a bitch. You can believe that. Excuse me? Okay, moms, we gotta go to my room now. Well, hold on. I'd like to know some more about your friend. Emily, what do your parents do? Uh, my mom is like a nurse or something. A nurse practitioner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and how about your father? He's a boardroom person for a nonprofit. It's called United Police Fund. Oh, I see them collecting donations at the mall sometimes. That's really interesting. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Before you leave, I just wanted to say it's very nice to meet a friend of Nicole's with such an impressive background. You didn't even ask about her. I'd love to, but I need to take care of some things. I'll see you later. You never told me you were rich. Is that rich for real? God, now I look like an even trashier bitch. So are we going to your room? I kind of just want you to go home now. Are you going to see Nick and Nora? Wait, see who? It's the new, like, romance movie with the guy from Superbad. They put McLovin in a romance movie? No, the other one. Who would watch a romance with that fat piece of shit? No, the other, other one. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw the preview for that. Yeah. So are you going to see it? No. Why would they make a romance starring ugly people? It's, like, different and free-spirited. Are we talking about me? No. Nick and Nora. What are you doing here? Nothing right now. You got any good shit on you? Jacka said you're in remedial classes. Yeah, what of it? Don't you have a different lunch from the rest of us? Are you skipping remedial? Snitch and I'll drown you in your dad's swimming pool. What the hell? Come on, Jekka, let's go. You can go. No, I meant go with me. Why the fuck would I go with you? Bye. I thought we were friends. I only sit with you so I don't sit at lunch alone like the weird kids. Damn, shit hurts. Fuck you guys. Whores. Dude, how have you handled a week of Kelly? No, she's pretty entertaining. Entertaining like Britney Spears in 1999 or like Britney Spears now? Oh, Britney Spears now for sure. All of our stories start with her and a guy who graduated three years ago. How did they end? Last weekend, she told me she went down on a guy during High School Musical 3. Is that the one in theaters right now? Yeah. That movie's for children. Why would she do it there? I don't know, but there was a baby crying two rows down while she did it. Was it Kelly's? Not yet. So why are you here? I need a little help with a paper. Since when the fuck do you care about turning in a good paper? Since I got an idea to fuck over a teacher with it, Miss Ames wants us to do a paper on modern poetry and hates rap music. So, you think she's racist? I don't follow. I know she's racist, and I want to write something where she shows her whole ass over it. Nicole, if you write about rap music being good, you're just going to get an F, which won't prove shit because all your other papers get Fs. No, 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 no. I'm going to write a paper that agrees with her. And if she agrees with it back, it's going to get her fired. Yeah, but you're going to write the racist paper she agrees with. I'm a kid. What do I know? Then how could I possibly help you with this? Do you want to ask my dad about Katrina refugees? Well, no, so you read books and shit. Is there like a really racist book I could just plagiarize? Uh, I have the English version of Mein Kampf if you want to borrow it. Why do you have the Hitler book in your backpack? They assign parts of it for AP history. Bitch, you pop pills and fuck on the first date. Why are you in AP history? Because maybe I want to fuck on the third date one day. Literally for who? Ryan Sheckler, obviously. And he's not going to marry some dumb blonde hoe, I know that. But a smart blonde hoe? That's where the alimony is. By the time I graduate, I'll know three different languages, so I'll be set to impress when I see him at the X Games. You only take French. Giving head isn't a third language. It is if you're good at it. Take the book. 
reading Mein Kampf alone at the diner. Let's see you guys turn this into a conversation starter. Hence, today I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator by defending myself against the Jew. Okay, let's cross out Jew and replace that with rappers. What else? The ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of the Jew. Hip hop artists, if you could even call them that. This paper's gonna be so fucking easy. Nicole, I didn't know you were in AP history. Huh? No, I'm not in AP history. Then why are you reading Mein Kampf? I'm racist now. Oh, alright. Man, Ari's cool about anything. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What the fuck do you want? What? No, nothing. Just saw you reading and was like, wow, she looks real smart like that. Is this like a usual thing for you? Reading in public? Sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you reading there? Mein Kampf. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's supposed to be really interesting, right? Uh Uh-huh. What do you think about it, like, specifically? I think it has, uh, like, really good themes in a story. Big fan of the message in Mein Kampf. Yeah, you could say that. What's your favorite part? What's yours? Oh, uh, like the middle. Did you read it in English or German? Was it in German first or something? Yeah, it's the only German book America cares about. Oh, that means it's super good, then. I should recommend it to a friend, right? Right. So can I sit with you? Mein Kampf is the Nazi book. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. So can I sit with you? Why do they block MySpace on the Wi-Fi? Because you're not supposed to be on it, duh. How the fuck is there a narc in remedial class? Yeah, all I want to do is see what this bitch is saying about her infected snake bites. To be emo and unclean. Tragic. All right, settle down. Your papers were all interesting, to say the least. Yeah, because they're good as shit, right? Kyler? F. F? I, I turn it in and everything. Three paragraphs about how gay poetry is doesn't make for a comprehensive think piece. I'll give you this stink piece, motherfucker. How do you fail a paper in remedial English? I didn't know we weren't allowed to tell the truth. You're dumber than the bitches on Next. Yeah, an MTV reality show hoes are really fucking dumb. Emily! D. Are you even supposed to call our grades out like this? Just so the class knows the bar they're setting. D in remedial? You're gonna end up on next. And Nicole. Uh Uh-huh. A. (gasps) A? A as in A or the loud at, or like, the letter? Almost A plus, if anything. I was happily surprised with the gripping prose you provided on rap music. So like, the letter. Really? You thought it was that good? It was excellent. The best paper I've ever received teaching these classes. The persuasive wording, direness of tone, as if you were a poetic politician wise beyond your years. As if, right? Literally got an A. What are you, white? I've earned the title. It's actually perfect timing, because next week your principal is bringing a few members of the school board to demonstrate why this program is still worth funding. With this paper, I think it'll be obvious remedial programs can still reach troubled students. What, you're gonna, like, read the paper aloud? Of course. An amateur written work like this deserves an audience, if it's okay with you, Nicole. Um, yeah, definitely. I think that is an amazing idea. Great. And I trust you'll all be here this Friday? Let's hope. Anyway, for today's lesson, slang. The death of the English language. Why would they pick the cafeteria for this? It's freezing. Yeah, how many people could possibly be on the school board? What's the school board do anyway? Stupid shit, like making the lunch healthy and covering up sex scandals. At least with the scandals, someone enjoys themselves. When they fuck the chicken nuggets up, everyone suffers. I wish you were in California, where the schools have food courts. Yeah, then it'd be too far for your mom to wander in. Yeah. Wait, what? I saw your mom in the hall 20 minutes ago. Is she picking you up early? No. Wait, what the fuck? Did you actually see my mom here? I'm pretty sure it was your mom. She was with a bunch of people, too. What is wrong with her? Why? Uh, Are you sure you're not just hallucinating off those meds? No, Seroquel doesn't make you hallucinate during the day. 
I'm gonna kill myself. Nicole! No, Mom, get the fuck out of here right now! What? I can't see my daughter when we get called out to her school. Called by who? Your principal called us at Rossler's Kosher Deli to cater your little remedial presentation. I was so proud to hear a paper you did would be the main event. I've been excited to hear this all week. You knew about this for a week and didn't tell me? I thought it'd be a fun surprise. Why would they cater this? So instead of telling me so I could blackmail you to call in sick, you just want to swoop in and socially ruin me. Oh, you're so dramatic. I'm sure Emily wouldn't mind if her mother was here. I would actually choke her. Right this way, here's our star students. Hey, yo, oh, we need you with the sandwich trays. Looks like my boss needs me to set up. Good luck, sweetie. School board members, if you could just line around over there for our presentation. Yes. Before we get to the catering, we wanted to present just one of the works produced by this remedial program. Right, and as I've come to understand, the remedial classes are up for renewal at the end of this school year. A lot of talk has gone around asking, what's the point of helping these troublemaker students? And after hearing this paper, we think you'll see the progress that can still be made here. Nicole, would you like to read your paper to the board? That is okay. Well, I'd love to read it for you. Go ahead. Right, so this is Nicole's paper I'll be reading for all of you. When Nicole first came to us, she had a 1.1 GPA, several truancy violations, and even more in-school suspensions. I'm all too familiar. <laughs> Look at all these sexless marriages. At first, she didn't want anything to do with language arts. But after we exposed her to the right literature again and again, she was inspired to write this incredibly biting piece on contemporary music and poetry. This better not take forever. I got temple at three o'clock. <clears throat> As a teen, I've come to be disappointed with the ignorance of the broad masses about the inner nature of rappers. The lack of instinct and narrow-mindedness of our upper classes make the people an easy victim for hip-hop's campaign of lies. Little Wayne's domination in the state seems so assured that now not only can he call himself a rapper, but he ruthlessly admits his ultimate national and political designs. Huh. A section of his genre owns itself to be a foreign people, yet even here they lie. For a while, the Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that... What is this again? Uh-oh. Catering, please don't interrupt. The Zionists tried to make the rest of the world believe that the national consciousness of the rapper finds its satisfaction in the creation of MTV. The rappers, again, slyly dupe the dumb, massive... Politics are weird. Like, really fucking weird. Like, everyone doubles down till they're eventually Hitler weird. Honestly, I just thought the school board would get her fired or something. Did not plan on the owner of a kosher deli listening in on it and calling the ADL afterward. Thanks for the heads up, mom. Everyone involved had to go to court. Everyone. I took the stand like, I'm a kid, what do I know? And that didn't work so well. What worked better was calling the McDonald's hash browns latkes and saying uncircumcised men are disgusting, because they are. Then I was in the clear, and they went through all of Miss Ames' past, and this bitch was fucked up. In college, her thesis paper was about how interracial relationships were misogynistic against white women. You can't make this shit up! The school itself was a problem too, because every guy watches South Park and Jews been like, the number one insult for the last ten years. So now Principal Lynn has a mountain of paperwork. Miss Ames is losing her teaching license, and me? I've never been more satisfied. God, I really don't want to go back either. See? But I don't know. You already know what you're getting if you go back there. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damaged poster telling you your outfit doesn't matter. Plus her whole stupid I don't own a TV attitude. Yeah, so fuck that bitch. Fuck that petition writing Prius driving bitch. Okay, but if we don't go back to class, where should we hang out then? I don't know, I have a car, so pretty much anywhere we want. What car you drive? <laughs> 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. It's the two-door. Oh, shit. Yeah, but all the AC vents are chipped because we kept using them as bottle openers. That's hot. You're like Avril Lavigne if she never got famous. I know, right? All right, let's go. Cool. But first we gotta stop by my locker. Yeah, sure. What for? I need Adderall to stop at stop signs. 
Why does he have to be right in front of my locker? Yo, yo, hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn it. Is there a reason you're specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck off, go die in a war. Exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Business like what? Business like... I heard you buy Bud. Jesus Christ. Doesn't everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. 180? Is it laced with gold? I know there's cheaper stuff out there, but this shit here, this shit here is 180. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Gringo? My boyfriend's an MS-13. I have the pass. Okay, so what? 175? How about 120 and a buzz? I'm open to trades. What you got? You're an X, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. That was really good. You were really good. The Mardi Gras save was awesome. I was surprised you didn't fuck it up. When I try that with Jekka, it takes her a second. And then they'd know something's up. Yeah, exactly. We're really good at fucking with people. I know. Just wait till we get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much weed. You want to roll some? No, marijuana's a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay, we'll just sell it. This might be the first time they ever actually restocked this mall. Yeah, did you see the homicidal slut shirt with a gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? Those were so hot. Fuck, we need money. We gotta sell this weed. Emily and Nicole, I didn't know you guys were friends. Why is Jeffrey here? You know his name? You don't? No, I just call him Nerd Shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30. School's been over. Wow. Time is, like, automatic in here. Well, Jeffrey, since you're out and about and everything, you trying to get faded? Faded? Uh, are you gonna throw bleach on me again? No, no. What she means is, like, are you looking to blaze right now? Blaze. Like, Blaziken the Pokemon? What? Pikachu's a Pokemon. What the fuck is Blaziken? Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. Y you're up to date on all the Pokemon? Isn't everybody? They're only up to 493 now. How much head do you get an hour? Can the two of you just speak English? Jeffrey, you want to get really high off some OG Kush? Wait, I know what that means. Are you guys trying to sell me drugs? Dude, shut the fuck up. Don't make us stab you with an eyeliner pencil. Nice try, but I think my time and money are spent better elsewhere. I don't. Let's just hope the both of you learn how to pay attention in health class. I'll see you never. I hate him so much. How can you talk shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Yeah. Did that seem out of character for him? You've seen him with a blunt before? No, not that. He's never been that dismissive with a girl before. I've literally told him to kill himself and he'll still try to be friends. Oh, me too. He just likes female attention. But if he's turning ours down, that means... Sorry I'm late. Got a little caught up. It's okay. What do you want to do next? Oh my god. He actually found a human female willing to listen to him. I'm not happy for him. After the way he just talked to us, me neither. Are we gonna do something about it? I think you already know. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? You did, actually. It's okay, though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big deal. A lot of people have been talking about it. I don't mind. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? Tomorrow? I guess so. That'd be good. In, like, a date sort of way? Yeah, I'd like that. We have a lot in common, and you're really nice. Well, a girlfriend. What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Um... Oh, look at this. Is this your next jump off, Jeffrey? Um, okay? What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us either. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes. Fuck the herpes. You got me pregnant, Jeffrey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I is this true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. Oh, so we just never existed to you? But they're making all this up. I don't understand. I am a virgin. Would a virgin say there's 493 Pokemon before going down on me? 
493? You told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday. Were you cheating on me? No, I don't even know them. Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life wall finishing. Oh, no. You're not believing them, are you? I... I need a minute. I need you to pay for my treatment. And you better pay for this baby, Jeffrey. <laughs> I gotta go! What the? Karen, no! Come back! I feel... <sighs> better. Yeah, I don't even feel like selling this quad anymore. We can just go back and steal all that stuff. Drop me off after, though. Yeah, okay. But yeah, that was productive. Why does Skittles taste better when they're stolen? Dopamine rush. I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole, where have you been all night? I don't know, are you a cop now? And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. We were at the mall, mom. So I'm supposed to believe you were just at the mall all night? The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half, like the sitcom. It's one in the morning. Damn, we hung out with that guy that long. What guy? Nobody. What guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my God. Tell me or your friend has to go home! Ultimatum. You really want to know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to! Where did you even get- Ugh, you're so stupid! Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No! Dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general, just how can you be so idiotic? Uh, it was actually kind of smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Really? We sold to a crackhead, because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. Yeah, so why don't you shut the fuck up, Mom? How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're old and used up. Uh, Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, Whore. So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I, I can't believe you! God, that felt good. Wish I could say that to my mom. Why don't you? She'd probably cut me out of the will. Yeah, that's a... Huh. But hanging out with you, this was easily, like, the best day of my life. Shutting your mom down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're cool. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, can I spend the night here? I guess. My mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one downstairs. Cool. I'm just gonna flush my Seroquel. All of it? Yeah, I'm just done with it, period. Oh. Why? Just all the stuff we did today, how I ripped your mom to shreds. That's the real me. That is the real unfiltered me. So fuck this med shit. I don't want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours shouldn't either. Yeah, I got you. That's cool. Besides, I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and perks do not mix with Seroquel. How do I do this paper, dude? There's got to be a way to get out of doing most of this. How many times have I petitioned for palm juice in the lounge vending machine? Miss Ames? What is it? Me and Nicole were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. We were? Pair together? Yeah, like we make it an oral presentation for class. We'll make flashcards at everything. An oral presentation on the state of modern poetry? Isn't poetry all about the spoken word? Hmm. I'll allow it. But just know I'll have a higher level of scrutiny since it's two of you together. No, that's fine. Thanks. Since when are teachers okay with switching the whole assignment? It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? Well, I just had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama last summer. Oh, oh no. Yeah, we don't care what color he was. It's still misogynistic. Understandable. Take all the time you need. Well, that was spontaneous. What? How you switched the assignment? No, not that. Spontaneous? Oh, yeah. It means like... Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. They had it in the Cat in the Hat live-action movie. The one with Dakota Fanning. Oh, no, you're right. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. But if you were talking down to me, I'd smack the shit out of you. I'd make you bleed. Good to know. But anyway, I wanted to switch to a presentation because I've had a pretty big idea for that class, but no one to do it with. Until now, obviously. Exactly. You're down for anything, even if it crosses the line. Bitch, what line? Exactly. Miss Ames is this perfect little bitch in her perfect little world, and I want to ruin that for her. Oh yeah, totally. What do you want to do? So I've had this plan for a while, actually, but, um, 
Sorry, it's really wild. Let me think how to word this. No, take your time. It doesn't smell that bad in here for once. Right? Yeah, uh, fuck, I need a cigarette to think. There's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what to do. Okay, what the fuck is this? Can you stoners act normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring, Jonah's sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this weekend. Yo, you're really cute, Ari. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner is always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. You're actually really pretty. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. I knew that bitch was soft. Yeah, she's weird. What was the idea, by the way? <sighs> I still need that cigarette. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial, though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do anything in class, anyway. Always the same table. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Do you have any cigarettes? Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just went to get water. You guys are gonna go to school jail if they catch you. Well, they won't catch us, right? Because you're gonna keep your mouth shut, right? Nicole. No, no, Emily, she's cool. Oh, oh, cool. So, yeah, can I borrow a cigarette? Uh, if I have one in my locker. And yours is by the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up, I got it. Wait, you don't even know the combination. Don't worry, I'll get in there. Isn't she great? Nicole, what are you doing with that girl? Just yesterday, triple C's in Alina Park. No, why are you hanging out with her? Oh, dude, don't be a bitch over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane, Nicole. Insane how? Psych ward visits, choked a girl in class, set her ex-boyfriend's car on fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her all the time. Buying her Adderall isn't the same as hanging out with her. That bitch is going to get weirdly attached to you and snap as soon as you get tired of her. Well, I'm not tired of her now, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Were you guys just talking to Emily? Sort of. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't even get expelled. See? But hold on, but why'd she choke you? Because I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. Still sound okay to you? A girl can be confident. Confident? I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. Bitch, that sounds like a you problem. By the way, where's your mom been? Uh, she hasn't been here since you yelled at her. I think she's afraid of you. She better be. Oh, yeah? For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually, like, really cool and smart, and you should be treated as such. Wow, that's, uh... What's wrong? Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Are you trying to have sex with me? Oh, really? Yeah, I have no idea how to process this. Does your mom ever compliment you? No. Because she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, I will rip her beating heart out and hand it to you on a silver platter. And you don't want to have sex with me? No. Are you sure? No, come on. If you saw someone talking down to me, what would you do? Oh, uh... Damn, killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, if you saw my boyfriend cheating, what would you do? Kill that bitch. Oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky with your gang member boyfriend? No way. Yeah, he fucked all his shit up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin? May as well kill yourself. Oh, that reminds me. The idea for the oral presentation? Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how we want to, like, screw up Miss Ames? Yeah, for sure. And we don't even really, like, have a plan of our high school, right? Like, honestly, what are we going to do? No, you're right. So I thought it'd be really badass if we show her the real state of modern poetry. Real suffering. Not some bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for it. What do we do? Okay. We go to the front of class, say a few words, and then we'll swallow this pill mixture I made and- A mixture of what? So I started saving all my Seroquel instead of flushing it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought Percocet off Kyler. Hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD, cause death is fucking poetry. And when Miss Ames sees that, she's gonna shut her ass up about poetry for the rest of her life. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you backing out? Well, it's just a little... This is a two-person gang here, Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. Shut the fuck up!
Back up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices again. Voices where? Like in my head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. The psychiatrists might disagree, but have you considered listening to the voices in your head? Whatever. Look, are you down or what? Totally. Anything you want. Awesome. You're awesome. I love you, Nicole. Like, I really fucking love you. If you told me to kill someone, I'd do it. I wouldn't tell the cops shit. What if I told you to not kill someone? Like yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're worried, but we're gonna do it together. It's gonna be okay. We got a big day tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. We sure do. You're not gonna kiss me goodnight? Oh my god. Mwah. Thanks. I love you. Yeah. Are you gonna say it back? Okay, now I do want to kill myself. And that is why modern poetry is written. Done. You certainly are. Is that a threat? Hey, Miss Ames. Sorry we're late. Not actually, though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener, and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? Well, no. It was a really cute shirt, so I cried for, like, nine minutes. I find that hard to believe. No, it was actually such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, All work is sex work under it. I meant the crying uh, front of the class. This oral presentation better be good. It will be. Uh, yeah. Well, go ahead when you're ready. No warm-up or anything? I don't see why you'd need one. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. Go on. So, me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole-ass poser. <laughs> and why's that? Poetry's about the spoken word, about storytelling, right? But movies have stories, too. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be different with anything else? Yeah, and poetry sucks, too, because... Because a writer's life is reflected in their work, and if their life is boring and stupid, how can we expect their work to be any better? We can't. The poetry's linked to the poet, good. Most people's lives are boring. Lots of waiting around. Lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? When you die? <laughs> exactly! Wow. Especially when it's unexpected. And especially when it's voluntary. Like suicide. And so I noticed a link. Basically all the best writers kill themselves. Hunter S. Thompson, Ernest Hemingway, Hemingway, whatever. It's pretty obvious to me, modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, self-help books, psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be sad anymore. Yeah, what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interesting. They don't tell good stories. They'll tell you about their cousin's science fair project or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? You're left with no good modern poetry. So all poets and storytellers need to be suicidal? It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay? All great writers have suicidal thoughts. Cause you can't have a good story knowing there's gonna be a happy ending. That's very nice, girls. C plus. That's it. Decent length, but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Oh, then how many poems have you published? <laughs> Excuse me? You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say it. <gasps> That's enough, Emily. Sorry your world's too cozy for anyone to care about what you make. <laughs> this is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Truly deep thoughts come at a much older age than 17. Whatever. You probably call Bob Dylan deep. <laughs> What's really deep is voting, volunteering in your community. Have you ever thought of anyone other than yourself? You did not say that. Lip service, ho. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude, then call yourself light-skinned. <laughs> okay, out of bounds. I think you need to be written up. Go ahead, write me up. No one's gonna want to read it. You're teenagers. You think you're any deeper than any other adult in the world? Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? Watch us. You ready, Nicole? It's honestly super humbling when the trashiest girl you know 
probably coked out of her mind, says the most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. I thought I was like deep and misunderstood and made the text and background all black on MySpace so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned a suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me, cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, proud mistake. I can't compete with that. What I'm trying to say is, you could skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced. There's always going to be a hotter bitch than you. And you just got to accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up Flintstones vitamins. So I passed out. I had a seizure, but it was just diluted enough to where I didn't die. Can't say the same for Emily, though. Okay, so I'm not sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself.